Hello and welcome to the Packaging Recyclability Evaluation Portal, PREP 5.0, the latest version of the portal. In this video, we will run through each page and its functionality before showing an example of how to complete a project report. PREP is a resource made available exclusively to members of the Australian Packaging Covenant Organisation through the APCO Packaging Recycling Label Program. When using PREP, upon login, the first page displays the current projects an organisation is working on. At the top of the page, you will see six tabs – Home, My Projects, My Account, Support, About and Logout. PREP users should use these tabs to navigate through the portal. Under the My Projects tab, there are four pages – Current Projects, Archived Projects, Dashboard and Product Categories. Within Current Projects, you can start a new project, as well as search for current and archived projects. You can also sort the projects by clicking on the titles of each column. Here, you can see we currently have multiple projects and can sort by their project name, description, product category and the date of when the reports have last been saved. You can open any current projects by clicking the Open button or archive any projects that may no longer be relevant or have been superseded. In the Archived Projects tab, you can see all projects that have been archived, with functions that allow for projects to be unarchived or deleted. Keeping your projects organised between the Current and Archived Projects tab is important for the next feature, the Dashboard. As we complete assessments, the Data Dashboard will provide a summary of the current projects and the percentage of all items classified as recyclable, recyclable with lost value, conditionally recyclable or not recyclable. You can also filter this by any nominated product categories for greater reporting clarity and potential focus for packaging improvements. Product categories are nominated via the Product Category tab by an allocated user in an organisation, providing freeform names for categories that may be specific to your organisation. Within a project, all users will be able to see the nominated category projects and select the relevant category for any new projects they may create. More fields will appear automatically and have no limit. You can click on the blue Category Naming hyperlink for tips of naming conventions that will allow you to sort these alphabetically within the current projects page. The My Account page of PREP will allow you to set your details and update your password if needed. While the Support tab of PREP houses supporting resources to help in the completion of a PREP report. Information and updates contain frequently asked questions and supporting information about PREP. You can click on each question to expand for further information. The glossary, hyperlinked at various points within a project, contains definitions and examples for terms of interest used throughout the portal. The PREP Express page provides a quick reference for single material items and whether they are recyclable or not recyclable in Australia but does not include those secondary disposal pathways, such as store drop-off programs. The special conditions or reasons provide extra detail on why these are or are not recyclable. Paper, for example, generally needs to be flat, larger than a playing card and without polymer coatings in order for it to be recycled. The Feedback tab allows you to send any feedback, suggestions or inquiries to the PREP and APCO team. The Red Cycle page provides the threshold table for soft plastics to be recoverable through the Red Cycle collection stream, located at major retailers in Australia. Moving on, the Videos tab includes training videos which should be viewed before completing your reports. They run through the various functions and sections of PREP to help you on your way. The About page provides further information on PREP and lists the changes made to the portal through its various versions and the reason for these updates. To create a new project, head to the Current Projects page and click New Project. You will be prompted to enter a title for your new project. In this example, our title will be Biscuit Snacks. The new project will open in the Overview page. At the top we have tabs named Overview, Items, Draft Report, Modify ARL, Final Report and Saved Reports. Within the Overview page, we have our project title, Biscuit Snacks. Description, Cardboard Box and Soft Plastic Bag. Reference, SKU102. And Product Category, Snacks. 
All of these details are for internal reference to help identify, sort and store our projects. This product and its packaging are sold into both the Australian and New Zealand markets, so we will leave these both ticked. Now we start entering project details. Here we are adding what we call the separable items for this packaging type. Separable items is hyperlinked, and by clicking on this phrase, a definition from the glossary appears. Separable items are defined as items that need to be separated from the main item for the consumer to consume the product. In example 1 of the glossary, the lid is a separable item to the bottle, while in example 2, as the steel base does not need to be separated from the tube for the product inside to be consumed, this is not a separable item and is what we would call a secondary material. Returning to our project, we select our material as paper, cardboard, and our item name is box. We can also add a description of our choice. We can then add a separable item by clicking the blue Add Separable Item button. This will then generate a new field below and we can enter our details for the bag. In this example it is plastic and the name is bag. Now we have entered all our separable items, we can click the Go To Items page. In the Items page, you can see we have two items, the box and the bag. Here we will add the detail to evaluate the recyclability of these items. The box does not contain hazardous contents. The primary material is cardboard. Our dimensions are 165mm for the length, 130mm for the width, and 4mm for the depth. It's important to note that here we are entering these dimensions as if our packaging item has been crushed to simulate how these materials behave in curbside collection compactor trucks. Our weight is 10 grams and it has non-water soluble inks. It also has a secondary material, a label. To add our secondary materials, we select Yes in the drop-down menu and click the Add Secondary Materials button. This then generates a new data field. For this item, our secondary material is the label attached to the box. The material is paper. It is a non-water soluble glue bonding to the box. And it has non-water soluble inks. The materials percentage is the percentage contribution this material makes to the weight of the item. Here it is 1%. The surface percentage is the percentage of the outward facing surface area of the box taken up by the secondary material. In this case, 5%. As we have now entered all the details for our box, we can click onto the next item, the bag. For the bag, it does not contain hazardous contents and its primary material is LDPE. In the rigidity section, if we had selected rigid, a number of questions below would appear. If we select soft as a red cycle partner, a table now appears. If not a red cycle partner, this table would not appear. In this table we can see our primary polymer is LDPE with a gauge thickness of 100 microns. And we have a secondary material of aluminium with a gauge thickness of 10 microns. Now that we have entered all details for our box and bag, we can click into the draft report page. Here we can see for Australia and New Zealand, the box is recyclable. As the soft plastic bag meets the thresholds to be accepted through the Red Cycle program, it automatically appears as the transparent conditionally recyclable Australasian recycling label, also known as the ARL. As there is no collection system for soft plastics in New Zealand, it is not recyclable and the bin icon appears. Scrolling down the page, we can see the box is technically recyclable. It is widely accepted at curbside collection and thus overall is recyclable. The issues note that there are no technical recyclability issues in either Australia or New Zealand. For every component assessed, this data will be presented. For organisations not using the ARL, we can click the Final Report button. If your organisation does use the ARL, you must use the Modify ARL page to investigate if conditional recyclability is applicable for our not recyclable items. And in this example, we can select instructions for the conditionally recyclable soft plastic bag. 
On the Modify ARL page, we want to assign approved messaging to the bag. Through the ARL and the APCO Labeling Program User Guide, hyperlinked here at the bottom of the page, we know that there are pre-approved consumer instructions for these soft plastic items, which organisations should use to message for recovery through Recycle. At the bottom of the page, we can click the pencil icon to nominate conditional recyclability. When we open the page, the cardboard box does not appear as it is already recyclable. Meanwhile, the icon for the bag in New Zealand does not appear as there is no widespread collection network for these materials, meaning they are not recyclable, so there is no option to nominate them as conditionally recyclable. As our bag meets the red cycle material thresholds, it has automatically been selected as conditionally recyclable for Australia. Clicking on the type of recyclability, we are provided a drop-down menu of approved customer behaviours. For this example, we want a message for consumers to return this bag to store. Happy with these instructions, we can select Apply and then click onto our final report. In the final report page, we can save our reports, duplicate the project and see the final ARL design. You can see that the box is recyclable. The bag is conditionally recyclable in Australia and not recyclable in New Zealand. We can now save the report as Biscuit Snacks version 1. This is now stored in our Saved Reports tab, where we can select the final design where multiple reports may exist. Download the report as a PDF or delete the report. This then concludes our PREP assessment. For further information on PREP and the ARL, please visit www.packagingcovenant.org.au.